So I've collected today from uh, my friend uh, my new toy. It's filled the space nicely in the in the house, and I have noticed a few little bits I need to do to it. There she is in the background. Let's go and take a little look. So it is a three and a half inch gauge Britannia Owen Glendower. It's very nicely made, a lot of nice details, but in its last rebuild there was a couple of bits that it got put back together a little bit wrong by the look of it. Um, it still works as it is, but I'd like to change it. So let's take a look. The What we have here, is the water valve for the injector. It's got two injectors, one each side. Uh, this one is missing, so I need to find an injector and hope it works. But there's a hole in the foot plate floor. If I take this pipe off, you can see I've put my men in here. But on both sides, there is a hole in the floor which the spindle should come up through. So I'm going to spin the valve around, put it back in the correct way up. That's better. Uh, that's on. That's in. Uh, put the pipe back on, still waiting for the injector. But I've got the handle in. I'm just struggling at the moment to get the nut back onto that spindle. With any luck, well, I say that side should be easier, but that's got a valve there as well. So let's um, see how we go. So I've got this one on now, and the nut is on as well. The nut is onto this side. So they are both sorted. I'll turn my attention to the missing injector. So, I've opened my tin of injectors and I've got a bit of a selection. I've got a brand new one, which is a Len Steel one from Pavia Steam. I know that will work. Unfortunately, Len puts flat face cones on the water side and I've got a conical cone. So that one's out of the question for the time being. Out of the rest, these two, although not the best scale appearance, were built by the same bloke, that, same chap that built the engine. So I might try one of these. I'll try this one because it's got the pipe on the wrong, on the right side. Um, but yeah, in, in a way, it would be nice if if one of these did fit. Um, I'm pretty sure. That one works, it came off of another engine, but I upgraded the size of it uh, on the other engine. I think that was a Fred LaRoche injector. So that's a possibility. Um, in all honesty, these three, those two, I'm not entirely sure where they're from. This one was made by my friend Alex. I don't think it's done much work. I, was having issues and I swapped it. Not sure if it was the injector or the pipe work. Um, these three have all been tested. These two came from Reeves originally, and this one, another Fred LaRoche, I believe. Uh, in actual fact, Alex's dad, Richard, tested these for me, and they all work. He's given me a little note to say maximum pressure, minimum pressure, um, and then some notes. These two, both of them, does not lift or restart. Um, so I could try these. Uh, this one was Fred LaRoche. Um, uh, maximum 120, minimum 45, knocks off at 40. So yeah, the, could give that one a try as well. I'm pretty sure that's cleaned and ready to go. So yeah, I've got 
a few a few possibilities. Um, my only reason for not putting one of Dave's on first is if you look at the size of it. I know I could change the overflow pipe, but it comes down a long way, very close to the rail level. I'm not overly keen on that, uh, so I am going to try. Well, I could try them at different stages anyway. I'm going to try this one of Alex's. Um, not quite as low to the ground. Um, we'll give it a clean. I'll, I'll chuck it in the cleaner. Give it a clean up before I put it in the engine anyway. And we'll see how it goes. Um, hopefully that will work. If it doesn't. Then we've got we've got others to try so yeah on boiler test day if this one doesn't work then i can try others they'll all be with me at the club so i'm not overly keen with the pressure gauge position i'm going to release the banjo bolt there try and spin it round and just bring it the other side of that pipe so i can see it easier let's see how we get on there we go Swung around. Um, might tweak that a bit more once it's been off for the pressure test, but so far looking good. So knowing that the first step when I take it to the club is going to be a hydraulic test, uh, I thought better get some plugs. I've checked that I've got the right plugs. So I took the safety valve out, and one close look at the thread, and I was. Uh, thinking it was 3826. I had a good look through my tin of all sorts of plugs, no 3826. I went to my tray of taps and dies, found the 3826 die, runs on beautifully. So it's a 3826 thread that I need to have. I haven't got one, so I'll go and make one. Ah. Maybe I won't make one. That's a bugger. Because the workshop equipment is still spread out. But the workshop is ready to take the equipment. So where plan A had been to make a plug and an adapter for the test pump, plan B will be invite people around, set up the machines, make the plugs. Unfortunately, even once the machines are in, I probably won't get them wired in straight away. Uh, it's just these things take time. So I will ask someone if they can bring a, a plug and an adapter to the club for me. And if they can't, I will take my bits to the club and machine them up in the morning before we start doing a test. So I've just put the injectors in for the second, second run of six minutes uh 600 seconds six 10 minutes um i think i've more or less finished the majority of the, the little jobs to do so other than the plugs for the safety valves i'm ready to test it and and putting a uh an injector on um some of the hoses on the couplings are starting to get a bit hard so i'm going to order some silicon hose to do that I do have some which I ordered for a previous job unfortunately I think this is five mil which is just too big for this um, so I ordered I'm about to order some more and hopefully I'll change the hoses and sort of improve a couple of the make the couple, couple of the connections a bit easier um, at the moment they're all on unions Although to my, my to my personal preference, only one of them needs to be high pressure. Uh, that's the hand pump. Uh, the axle pump feed and return. One's under suction. The other one is after the bypass, so it doesn't get pressurized. And the two injector supplies are, are on suctions. So I only really need push on connections. So if I can get some new hose, I can do that. And I just want to make one of the connectors a little bit easier to um, 
to get the spanner on. The, the, obviously the inject the hand pump connector. Uh, I don't know how well you can see, but it's hidden back there. So not the easiest. I will see if I can do something to make that a bit easier to get a spanner on. Um, otherwise I'm ready for a test. So the next time you see it, hopefully it'll be a video at the club being tested and, and running around the track. That's one to look forward to. So, uh, oh, the other thing is I did test out and the shovel I use for Ginty fits through the door on this engine, fortunately. Um, the only other issue I've got is the chimney being a bit smaller than any of my other chimneys. So ultimately I will need to make an adapter to fit in the chimney. But again, no lathe at the moment. So that's going to have to wait for the moment. Uh, I'll have to use, I think the, the blower we've got at the club should fit. Um, because it works in the Doris. So I can't see this being smaller than the Doris chimney. So yeah, that's, that's it for now. Uh, we will catch it up at a, another day when we're trying to get some steam in it and try and get some pressure in it. Um, maybe in the meantime I'll, I'll do you another video just showing you some more details on the engine and, and some of the features but for now I'm happy I'll, we'll wait until we get it out on the track just loosely put this injector on it's doing its tightening up but I've put the spanners away already and I have put my driver and fireman in so with the driver and fireman in it is time for me to call it a day for tonight and spend a bit of time with my wife. So I look forward to sharing more with you soon. Thanks very much. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that stuff. It'd be great. Thank you very much. Bye.